Hey everyone, today I got asked by one of my least favorite viewers, Jack, if he should buy the Garmin Fenix 6 watch. So that got me thinking, should anybody buy the Garmin Fenix 6 watch, or should you maybe instead look at the Instinct Solar, or maybe even the Polar Grit X Pro? So even though I was busy, I thought I would drop everything I was doing in order to answer this jerk's question. I mean, seriously, fuck this guy. So on to the watches. I don't think that anybody should buy the Garmin Fenix 6. The Fenix 7 is going to be poking its head around the corner here sooner than later. There's already rumors spooling around the internet uh, on it, and uh, Garmin's going to be probably releasing it within the next year or two. So that means that if you buy the Fenix 6, you're already going to be buying something that's fairly outdated, and that's the last thing that you want when you're investing in a $500 watch. Uh, the Instinct Solar also has better battery life, and uh, it's a little bit more rugged. It has the bezel, it's got some slightly more rugged materials on it. Um, you know, if you're buying one of these watches, you're, you're, well, first off, there's really nothing that the Phoenix 6 can do that the, that the Instinct Solar can't. The Phoenix 6 does have, like, I think, like, its version of, like, Apple Pay, like, Garmin Pay. Also, you can, I think, have music and stuff on it as well. Um, some other NFC-related things, but... But as far as like the, all of the rugged health activity kind of stuff, uh, the Instinct Solar has all of that stuff. It has the mapping, it has the GLONASS, the GPS, the health monitoring, the O2 sensor, the sleep monitoring. It has all of those things. It doesn't have a color screen, but the thing is, is that if you really think about it, most people don't need a color screen. It's a luxury, it's not a necessity. And because the Instinct Solar doesn't have the color screen, it has much, much better battery life. The Instinct Solar can get anywhere between like 15 and 20 days of practical use. Uh, the Garmin Phoenix 6 can probably get about half of that. Then, of course, you have the Polar Grid X Pro, which probably gets even about half of that. So, um, so should you even get the Polar Grid X Pro? Well, I'll be doing another, uh, a more in-depth review of that watch here in the next couple of days. But even though I really like this Grid X Pro, I don't really think that mo I'm, I'm, I don't think that anybody should buy it. I think that if you're choosing between the Phoenix 6, the Instinct Solar, and the uh, Polar Grid X Pro, most people should probably go with the Instinct Solar, especially if their goal is to sort of do like fitness tracking, exercising with it, camping, hiking, that sort of thing. Uh, it's, it's really a fairly unprecedented watch. There's not a few things, there's, there's not really many competitors out there for it. Um, if you want something that's a little more fashion forward, like something that you can take to the gym and to like the Gucci store, then I guess the Grid X Pro is probably it. But uh, in any event, uh, of those three watches, I would recommend the Instinct Pro every single time. If you have any questions regarding these three watches uh, or as to how I got my decision, um, please feel free to reach out into the some comments section. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And otherwise, we will be back with another video soon.